Well, hey guys, and welcome to day two of spring cleaning. Yeah, with all its glory. So today, I'm gonna tackle this corner right here. This is where my stitchy chair used to be. And then we moved it out into the den so I could stitch with the family at night. But this weekend, we got his and her recliners because we're just that romantic. So I want my stitchy chair back in here. But as Vince says, I can feel any empty spot in the blink of an eye. So I had kind of downsized on baskets and I'm gonna flip you guys around. So I'll be right back. All right, hopefully this will make us less motion sick. So here's where my stitchy chair used to be. I've added this Martha Washington sewing cabinet that I love and some of my collectibles. Um, I did downsize, believe it or not, on baskets. This basket right here now has my 24 and 2024. 20, this basket um, that's being buried has my carryover whips from 2023. Uh, and then just a plethora of other things that just keep moving around. I'm tired of having the baskets on the floor and my bags on the floor. So I think I want to try and move all of my bags into here, which on this is what you see behind me when I'm filming. So I think that's what I want to do for now. And then I can get rid of those baskets and I can open up the floor space back over here again. Hopefully I'm not making you too sick with all of the moving around. Um, so that's going to be the job for today. Uh, and I'll post some of my work and some of my progress and we'll see what we'll get in an hour. This top shelf has all of my 24 and 2024 20, uh, remaining stitches in month order. And the bottom is all of my whips that I have. I don't know if this will be the final resting place, but for now, the baskets are off the floor. My chair is back in its spot and I'm calling it a win for the day. Now, Tomorrow, I will start organizing all of my patterns. Lord help us all. 